Mm -hmm. Reporting for Kids First. And today, we're on the red carpet for the Naked Mole Rat Get Stressed The Underground Rock Experience. Let's go talk with some of the cast and crew. I am such a fan of your work. I love the fascinating stories you tell with their colorful characters. Where'd you get the idea for them? Oh, that's a good question. So, ideas are not things you get, like toys. Ideas are things you grow, like plants. So I have something called an idea garden. You might call it a notebook. And I put in all these little seeds of thoughts, and I go back and I sketch and I draw, and then sometimes they grow. And when you want to make a movie like this, you have lots of gardens. So I have friends, I've got animators and other writers and commenters and actors, and we all work together tending this garden until it is this big piece of awesome. Have such an admirable career as number one's New York Times bestseller author and illustrator, winning numerous awards for your children's books. What made you feel like it was time to move into animated productions? Oh, that's a good question as well. Well, you may not know, but I started out as an animator. I made animated films for Sesame Street probably when your parents were watching a long, long time ago. And so I'm now in this movie working with friends of mine that I've worked with for 30 years in animation. So I took a break and I just felt like this story was so big, so exciting that I wanted it to be like an animated special. You have such an amazing career. What can you tell us about your creative process when composing for the Naked Mole Rat Get Stressed, The Underground Rock Experience? Well, the first thing we do is we knew we wanted to create a rock musical. We knew that the power and the subversiveness of rock was perfect for these characters. So we made a playlist of our favorite rock songs and we just danced around and we sang and, and uh, we kind of got inspired by that. And that's where we started from. And then, you know, we talk about the characters. What's the energy of this moment? And, and then we just started writing the songs. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It takes it takes a while to go from what the inspiration is, who are the characters, what's the moment, what's the energy of that moment, you know. So that's that's what you have to do for every musical, for every song. What is it like to work on a daily basis with the directors, the talent, and the animators on such a film? Well, it was really interesting because this show was put together during the pandemic. So we started, now we, now the show had already existed as a theatrical show, but we adapted it right at the start of like March 2020. So this whole process of turning it into an animated musical was done during the pandemic. So it was all virtual, all over Zoom. I got to work with these amazing singers from my house, you know, from my garage, basically, on Zoom. So I would be working with a superstar like Jordan Fisher, and then I'd have to go feed my cat. You know, oh. it's very surreal. But uh, we did it, we did it. Is there one particular piece of music in this film that you are most proud of? One of my favorite songs is called Time to Get Dressed, which is sung by the amazing Jordan Fisher. And what I love about the song, it's very emotional, and I remember when I was writing it, I would start crying all the time because it's about being true to yourself and kind of discovering who you really are and then also having the courage to live that life. You've animated, written, and produced some of kids' favorite series. What inspires you to work in children's television? I've always, I, growing up, I always loved cartoons. So the idea of actually getting to make cartoons was like the coolest thing in the world. So when I was in college, I decided you know, I'm going to make cartoons, but I didn't think I was good enough. I thought you had to be the ultimate artist and then you had to make it move. But then a friend said, if that's what you really want to do, that's what you got to do. And here I am. One particular mentor who coached you or inspired you along the way? Not one. I mean, all, like all along through my career, I had different people who were, who guided me through, uh, through my learning process of animation. My first, uh, when I was in college, I had a teacher, Dr. Shantz, who was really important to me. My high school art teacher, uh, Mr. Arnold, was great. My first job was at a place called Buzzco, and I had uh, two people there, Vinny and Candy, who really like sat down with me every night and taught me animation. JJ Settlemeyer was another studio I worked at, and all those people like helped me along the way. And Mo, you know, Mo and I have been mentors to each other about like making, you know, telling stories. So was he just one of those bunch? No, a lot of mentors, and and. That's the goal, to have all these different people teaching you different things about what you love doing.
For kids who are aspiring animators, what words of wisdom do you have to share with them about how to get started? Draw, draw every chance you get, write, tell stories. Like, really animation is about storytelling. You know, they call, uh, they call you know, uh, animators storytellers with a pencil. Like, you're trying to like tell so many, so many different stories from different points of view. So, so watch movies, read books, go places, do things, soak all that in and then start telling stories with the stuff that, you, that you've, you've experienced. When you are developing shows for a younger audience, what are some of the things that you feel are most important? Building a world that they want to be involved in. Like Kids Next Door is really about like, you can make, you can make your, you can be your own operative. You can be number 162, 1100, and you're in Scepter J, and you specialize in two by four te technology. So, I like to build these worlds where everyone can be included. And make a mole rat, you can be a mole in that colony too. And you can decide whether you want to wear clothes or not. And that's what I love about telling stories, is making something that everyone can feel a part of. I absolutely Okay, thank you so much. It's a pleasure, thank you so much. Thank you so much for talking to me. You're a good interviewer. I'm Hanadi, reporting for Kids First. Be sure to like and subscribe to our channel to stay informed about upcoming films. Thank you, bye. Get your rest.